Today I'm going to be talking about detachment. If this interests you, stick around and let's get into it. Hi and welcome to The Wholeness Shift. My name is Veronica and if this is the first time you've found me, welcome. If you're already part of the family, welcome back. You know I love you. And I teach about easy, practical spirituality and intentional living and help you navigate your spiritual awakening in a way that's hopefully easy to understand. If this interests you, hit the subscribe button below. I wouldn't want you to miss out on anything good. So excuse the way I look. It's a cozy Sunday. I have bedhead. I have no makeup on. I'm in sweatpants and a cozy sweater. It's just one of those days. But anyways, I was having a conversation a few days ago with a friend of mine, and it, I've just been thinking about it ever since, and I thought that it would be something that would be helpful to you too. Maybe give some perspective or maybe help something to click. So let me share what we talked about. So a little bit of backstory. Um, this friend lives in New Jersey, and at Christmas time, she had sent me a message saying, hey, I'm going to be in the area around Christmas time. I'd love to stop in and spend some time with you. And I'm like, yeah, that would be great. Just let me know when you're here and, you know, you could come over and we can hang out or we could go to dinner or whatever. So fast forward, I never heard from her at Christmas time. And I mean, that's okay, but, you know, it just didn't happen. It didn't work out. So the other day she had messaged me and she is working really hard on manifesting learning about it putting it into practice and so she is trying to manifest a stronger relationship with a certain person and so she had messaged me and said i know that in manifestation i'm supposed to be detached so does that mean i'm supposed to go no contact with this person um to help it come in stronger and i was like no that's not what detachment means here's how i see detachment I said, do you remember back at Christmas time when you said that you were going to come see me and it just didn't work out? And that's okay. It would have been awesome if it happened, but we were both just fine with it not happening. We didn't sit around wallowing in it, crying over it, being angry or resentful towards the other person we weren't like blaming the universe like why are you keeping me from my person or when is this going to happen or i want that so bad um we weren't blaming anyone it was just like it's okay if it happens it's okay if it doesn't happen maybe next time you're detached from the outcome you have a hope of something happening you have stated your desire for something to happen, but you're completely detached from the outcome. If it happens, great. And if not, that's okay too. Something else will happen or it'll happen at another time or something better will come along. Detachment is um, not avoiding the thing, just being okay with whatever happens, right? All right, I hope this helped you understand it a little bit better. And if you haven't yet, please hit the subscribe and the like buttons because it helps me so much. All right, I'll talk to you soon.